I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another. We brought nothing into this world, and it's certain that we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Lord, let me know mine end and the number of my days that I may be certified how long I have to live. Behold, thou hast made my days as it were span long and mine age as even as nothing in respect of thee. And verily, every man living is all together vanity. For man walketh in a vain shadow and disquieteth himself in vain. He heapeth up riches, and cannot tell who shall gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly, my hope is even in thee. Deliver me from all mine offenses, and make me not a rebuke unto the foolish. When thou hast rebukest, thou chasest man for sin. Thou makest his beauty to consume away, like as were moth fretting a garment, Every man, therefore, is but vanity. So teach us to number our days as we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Let the church say amen. Amen, amen. amen one more time. Amen. amen yet again. Family and friends, we are here for the homegoing celebration of our beloved sister, our beloved mother, Sister Annie Ruth Petit Simpson. A woman that loved the Lord, a woman that was a trooper for the Lord, a woman that was a pillar for the ministry of New Ephesus Missionary Baptist Church in Ruffin, North Carolina. So family, know that in this moment, uh, the Bible says it this way, when one weeps, we all weep, and when one rejoices, we all rejoice. So just know on this day, family, that our hearts are with you, our prayers are with you, and the Lord is going to grace us to get through this moment. One thing we do know, as the songwriter said, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. This is not the end. And we're not saying goodbye. We're just saying we'll see you a little later on the other side. Amen. At this time, we're going to follow the program as it's laid out in front of us. We're going to call forth and have 
the Old Testament reading by uh, Reverend Tommy Williamson, Sr., followed by the New Testament reading of Dr. George Pickard. And following that, we will have our prayer of comfort, Reverend Carolyn Richmond, in that order. Amen. Amen. Psalms 121. I will lift up mine eyes mm. unto the hills which cometh my help. Yes, sir. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Mm. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The Lord shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thee. Thou coming in and going out. Yes, sir. And even forevermore. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. I will be reading it to you here in 1 Corinthians, starting with the 15th chapter, down with the 51st verse. May these words find comfort for your soul. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the last trumpet shall sound, mm. and the dead shall be raised and corrupted, and you shall be changed. For this corruption must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on in the time. Mm. So when this corruption shall put on in corruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the sin that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Mm -hmm. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. The strength of sin is to love. But thanks be to God, who giveth us the victory through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brother, be ye steadfast, unmoved, and always abounded in the works of the Lord. For as much as you know, the delay is not in vain. Amen. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Let us look to the podium. Our Father, which art in heaven, yeah. hallowed be thy name. Oh, yes. Thy kingdom come, yeah. thy will be done uh -huh. in earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Heavenly Father, we come right now, Lord, with heavy hearts. Uh -huh. But God, we still give you glory, glory. we still give you honor, and we yes. still give you praise in the midst of it all. Oh, yes. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. For each and every person that are gathered here as we say goodbye to our Aunt Ruth. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for the 99 and a half years you allowed her to yes, be on sir. this earth. Yes, sir. Thank you. We thank you, Lord, for keeping your loving arms wrapped all around us. I pray, God, you will continue to look upon this multitude of nieces, nephews, great nieces, and great nephews. Then, Father, look upon the cousins. Look upon the friends, God. God, as we sit here and say goodbye, knowing, God, that we loved her, but you loved her best. Oh, yes. And we thank you, Lord, for how she was able to be all the person that she was, a humble person. Yeah. Ah, she was very quiet, God, but we thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Thank you. For continually to bless her while she was here. Now, Father, she's gone, yeah. and we're still here. Mm -hmm. 
and we still don't have to do the same thing that unroof is done. Yeah. But God, we may not uh, see 99 years, God, but we're going to be grateful for what years you allow us to have. Thank God, you. we thank you, and God, we praise you now. Yeah. We pray, Father, that you will continually now to look upon Abner, God, and look upon Prentice, God. I pray, God, you will bless them. Because, God, uh, and Ruth looked at them as her grandchildren, God. And I pray, yeah. God, that you'll keep them covered under your blood. Mm -hmm. Then, Father, I pray that as a family, God, we will continually to love one another. Yeah. One another, God, in spite of. Thank you, Lord. Because situations and circumstances will come in life. But God, we have to continually to look to the hills oh, yeah. from whence cometh our help. Oh, yeah. Because all of our help coming from thee. Yeah. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you now, Lord. Father, we give you glory. We Lord. give you honor. Lord. And we give you praise. We ask these blessings, Father. And many other blessings, Lord. We ask it right now in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen.
Hey Amen. Just another soldier going home. That ought to be all of our testimonies in a time like this. It's a good time to be saved, church. Amen. 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 Again, family, we thank you, uh, this awesome family, for allowing us uh, to be a part of this moment uh, in the life uh, and in the celebration of uh, Mother Ruth. Indeed, she will be missed. Uh, indeed, she was a pillar uh, to our ministry. Not going to belabor uh, this hour or this moment. Uh, our scripture for today will be coming out of the book of Job, chapter 19. I'm going to begin reading at verse 25 and read down through verse 27. Job, chapter 19, again at verse 25, read down through verse 27. Job, chapter 19, begin at verse 25, read down through verse 27. It reads as follows, for I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. Can you say amen? Amen. And I keep uh, verse for today is the B portion of verse 26. Uh, yet in my flesh shall I see God 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 just for a moment I want to preach to you uh, from the subject a new life a new life a new life spirit of our living God we ask now that you just give us preaching power uh, in a moment like this God I pray that you wrap your arms around this awesome family God we thank you uh, for the life of Mother Ruth, God. We thank you, God, for the witness that she's been for you. We thank you, God, that you graced us uh, to spend time and to experience her on this side for 99 years. Now, God, we ask that you decrease me, increase you. You get the glory, you get the honor, you get the praise. Magnify yourself, glorify your word, and bless this, your family. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Uh, church, we, we, we've all made uh, or at least have heard this statement at some point or another if I only knew then what I know now uh, if I if I knew then what I know now life would be easier uh, life would be uh, so much better in fact some parts of my life would really be like brand new all of us uh, like the sound of this word new this this word means church uh, not existing before it means family uh, made introduced or disconnected or, or discovered for the first time all of us like the word new we like something new we like a new house we like the smell of a new car we like how new clothes fit all of us like things that are new am I right about it mm -hmm. and, and, and wouldn't it be great if we could start life all over again knowing what we know now wouldn't it be great to go through school again knowing what we know now wouldn't it be wonderful to do our careers all over again knowing what we know now and though we can't go back and do this life over we can look forward to a new life on the other side and family why this looks like the end for mother Ruth I stand to remind us that is really a new beginning because God in his infinite wisdom made arrangements on the cross 2020 years ago for all of us an arrangement is made in advance and it means that when the appointed time comes we've all adjusted for something brand new to happen and when Jesus rose and said oh death as Dr. Pickett read where is thy sting God was making an arrangement for Mother Ruth at that point when Jesus rose and said oh grave where is thy victory God was making an arrangement for Mother Ruth and family you've done an awesome job today making arrangements on earth and now God has done the ultimate arrangement now in heaven. And now at the appointed time, God has already hit the resetting button in her life and it's time for her new life to begin. Uh, so family, while you might miss her, Jesus said it this way, let not your heart be troubled. You may cry some tears, but let not your heart be troubled. You may have to go through a process in this moment, but let not your heart be troubled because God has already given her a new life. I wonder, is there anybody else here today listening to me that's interested in having a new life like Mother Ruth? 
it's all because she it's all because God lives. Uh, the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says in verse 25, I know my Redeemer liveth. I know that my Redeemer liveth. I wonder if anybody else is ready for a new life. Paul said it this way, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching for those things that are in front of me. Anybody pressing toward the mark today of the high call in Christ Jesus? A new life where there's no more pressures. A new life where there's no more problems. A new life where there's no more pain. Anybody looking forward to a new life on the other side? A life of peace, family. A life of joy. A life of victory. Family, we must give God a praise for preparing us a new life. Notice here in verse 25, he says, For I know. This says to us, family, that, that, that our relationship with Jesus, it has to be personal. There are moments when in life people say, don't take it personal. But when it comes to Jesus, you got to take it personal. In other words, nobody can do this relationship with Jesus but you. Mama can't do it. Daddy can't do it. Pastor can't do it. Deacon can't do it. Nobody can do the life with Jesus but you. But when it comes to Jesus Christ, you got to take it personal. And when you look at the life of Mother Ruth, it's evident that she took Jesus personal. When it comes to her friend, she took Jesus personal. When it was came to family, she took Jesus personal. When it came to serving her God, she took Jesus personal. The songwriter said it this way, May the life I live speak for me. So the Bible says in verse 25, I know my Redeemer lives. A Redeemer family is one who has repurchased or delivered another out of bondage by paying a debt. Now Job could have said, I know my Savior lives, and he would have been accurate. He could have said that, that I know my champion lives, and he would have been accurate. He could have said that I know my advocate lives, and he still would have been accurate. But instead, he said, I know my Redeemer liveth. In other words, family, he was confident that the one who had purchased him still lives today. And because he lives, Mother Ruth will now live on the other side. She lived until she died. Now she'll live again. What a mighty God we serve because he lives. And family, what that means to us is who are still on this side, the songwriter said it this way, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. I know that there's a void. I know that there's a pain. I know we have heavy hearts right now, but because he lives, all fear can be gone. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Can I get a witness? That because he lives, we will make it. And family, now is the time that you have to do like David and begin to encourage yourself in the Lord and say, because he lives, I can look to the hills from which cometh my help, recognizing all my help in this moment will come from the Lord. Because he lives, I will trust in the Lord until my time comes to die. Because he lives, Father, I stretch my hand to thee no other help I know. And this this is what we see Job saying and doing in verse 26 when he says, After my skin, worms destroyed this body. Somebody say this body. In other words, church, Job says, When I die on this side, the body I'm in right now is going back to the ground. That's why we say ashes to ashes and dust to dust. Because this body, somebody else say this body. The body I'm in right now is not permanent. Family, we're going to lay this body down. That's why Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. That's this body. But I'm so glad that God has prepared us a new body that we that will see God. And this is what Job is saying at the end of verse 26 when he says, Yet in my flesh I shall see God. Pastor, what are you talking about? Well, Dr. Pickard read it and alluded to it in 1 Corinthians 5 and 1. He explains that the new body for us tells us, for we know that if this earthly body, this body, is dissolved, we have another body that's not made by hands. See, this body is not built for the long haul. This body it, it is not built to last. That's why some of us are hurting right now, because this body is not built to endure. That's why all of us are aging every day, because this body won't see God. But I'm so glad that God promised to give us a new body in heaven. Can I get another witness right about now? That's why we say we're going to take off corruptible, as Dr. Pickett read, and put on incorruptible. That's why we say God is going to give us a new body in heaven. 
That's why we're going to take off mortality and put on immortality. Because God's going to give us a new body in heaven. Somebody that's hurting in this body ought to be glad about the new body that's coming your way. Can I preach about this new body for just a little while as I take my seat? There'll be no more pain in this new body. There'll be no more hurt in this new body. There'll be no more suffering in this new body. Church Mother Ruth has a new body over yonder, somewhere over yonder where the chilly winds don't blow. I believe that she's enjoying her Lord and Savior Jesus Christ where there's no more sickness, there's no more cancer, there's no more arthritis in this new body. Anybody glad that you got a new body that's on the way? No more crying and no more dying. Somebody else say new body. New body. The songwriter said it this way. I looked at my hands and they looked new. I looked at my feet and they did too. Anybody getting ready for a new body? Understanding that there's a leak in this old building. And one day our soul is going to have to move. That's why you better do like Mother Ruth and begin to send up some timber every day. Because every day that goes by, we're one step closer to doing what Mother Ruth has done already. Every day that goes by, we're one step closer to meeting our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Every day that goes by, we're one step closer from crossing over the chilly Jordan. Church, every day we need to be sending up some timber every day. Pastor, what do you mean sending up timber? You need to be thanking your God every day. With all this going on in society and we're still able to move about and breathe, we need to be thanking our God every day. We need to be loving our God every day. We need to be sending up timber and praising our God every day. Sending up timber and blessing our God every day. The scripture said it this way, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Family, you ought to bless God for the life that she lived. Bless God for the family that she loved. Bless God for the friends that she helped. Bless God for the example that she gave. Family, you ought to be encouraged today to know that you had a family member that's going on to be with the Lord. Everybody won't walk this walk, but for those of us that know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for those of us that have committed our way unto the Lord, for those of us that have put our hands in God's hand, we got a reward on the other side. Somebody ought to be glad that this is not the end, but yet another beginning for a new life. Somebody give God a praise. Amen. Amen and amen. We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for these kind of soldiers that literally are examples to us in where we have to go. God is so awesome in how he does things. He doesn't leave us down here to figure things out, but he constantly is what I call order in our steps. Not only through the example of the scriptures, but through the examples of others that he's empowered to live for him. None of us are perfect, but all of us are faithful that love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Family is going to be all right. I know this moment is difficult, and I know these days seem long. But trouble don't last always. The scripture said it this way, weeping may endure for a night, but God has promised that joy will come in the morning. Let's go to the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come right now, God, to say thank you. We thank you, God, that you're the kind of God that you still are on the throne, even in a moment like this. In a moment, God, where we're hurting and in a moment where our hearts are heavy, we thank you that you're still the same God. Lord, please now, in the name of Jesus, wrap your arms around this family. Comfort them, God, like only you can. Do, Lord, what only you can do. You know, God, what they each stand in the need of, God. You know what they stand in the need of collectively. Now, God, come by here, Lord. Come by here and do and be what only you can do and be. God, we thank you for celebrating the life of a warrior and a soldier in this day. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen at this time we're going to move into a moment of committal and i'm gonna do the committal then i'm gonna ask dr pickett to come and to give the final prayer and the benediction for as much as it has pleased almighty god in his wise providence 
to take out of this world the soul of our deceased sister. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and in the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible body of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made into his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. Now, Lord, we come to the end of another celebration of our home going. Yes, God. We thank you, Lord, for the years that you have allowed Sister New Simpson to be here with us, to love, care, and share as she shared with us. Now, Lord, we entrust her with you. Lord, teach us about eternal life. Do now, God. She is leaving, Lord, the land of the dying, going to the land Amen. of the living. Amen. We ask that you will bless each and every one here this morning, Do now. this afternoon. We ask that you will bless the family. Look down on the nieces and nephews and cousins and friends and family. Lord, teach them that one day we have to go through the same way that Sister Ruth Simpson is going through today. Oh, yeah. We ask you, Father, to be with us. Please, God. Touch our heart. Give us strength to yes, endure God. in times like this. Amen. And Father God, we ask that you would be with this family as they go to their various home and various places. Get them traveling to Please, God. Father, keep all incidents and accidents away from them and bless them as they go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'd like to take this opportunity. We want to thank uh, Dr. Hawkins, Dr. Kirkard, and the other program participants, uh, Reverend Carolyn. We appreciate you. Uh, we appreciate the solo was done by the sweet two girls here and who all of you that have come out to show your love and support for this family we truly thank you for coming out today we ask you to continue to pray for them that you will uplift them in your prayers and family thank you for allowing us to serve you and our service is not in the day if we can do anything further please let us know this concludes our homegoing service for our beloved aunt annie ruth petit simpson Amen. may her heart and may her soul be at rest in peace and God be with all of you, family. And may we all go in peace. And now you may return to your cause. Thank you again. Brother.